Alright, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Lloyd Ross and I'm here to teach you all the things about money that you wish you learned in school. And if you've been watching the YouTube channel for a bit now, um, you're probably wondering what the heck is going on with this water that hasn't been drunk. It's always full when we start. And so I'm going to have a bit of a sip. I hope that's not prop water, Dom. <laughs> if I choke and die during this, you'll know why. Anyways, this lesson today is on can money buy love? What a, what a gnarly topic. Who chose this one? <laughs> this is awesome. Maybe it was me. I'm like, this is really, uh, this is going to agitate some people. So that's exciting. Um, can money buy love? I, I believe yes. Yes, it can. And here's how. And I talk about this in my book, Money Buys Happiness, that it, it can buy happiness and love, right? So can money buy love? The thing is, when you've got money, you can make choices. And when you can make choices, you can position yourself for things like happiness, love, and so forth. So I'll give you an example. There's certain things in the human species that is, it's called the law of attraction. And when it comes to someone falling in love with you or you falling in love with someone, there are certain things that when they happen, they trigger a love spell. A lot of it's psychological. Well, all of it's psychological because it's how the brain works when it gets attracted to something, it's instinctual. How we're attracted to someone else is instinctual. And how money plays a part in that is this. It's just like what birds do when they when they mate, right? They do a mating dance, okay? And a lot of creatures do it, but there's a mating dance. If you look at the type of birds that do that, they all have these colorful feathers. And so they're saying, hey, I'm over here, right? Or they're, they're doing certain things, they're doing a dance. They're showing the other side, the other mate, that they're, hey, look at me, look at me, I'm the biggest, right? This is part of the human species to, to procreate. It's important. So how we do it is we do it with things and stuff, right? So if you look at um, women do it with makeup, uh, women do it with clothing, women do it with scent. There's all sorts of things. And so if you have money, you can actually buy things that increase your, your colorful feathers. <laughs> and I know there's some people going to watch this and get annoyed with me that I'm saying this because like, no, love is pure and it should all be just like, they should love your natural scent. Of, I get all that. Uh, and, and you can still do it that way. I'm not suggesting you can't. But what I'm saying is if you have money and you get to dress well and you get to smell good and you get to present well and you get to spend money on your value and your education and your, and when I say education, I don't mean school, you need to, I just mean your education, right? Leveling up becoming more valuable. You get to invest in yourself. And that actually, what it does is it triggers attraction. And you can actually start to attract more deal flow. Yes, I just referred to people as deal flow. When you're in business, deal flow and, and, and lead generation is important to acquiring perfect customers. So if you look at love in terms of the numbers in terms of business, and again, I'm gonna get some hate for this, but so be it. When, with my friends who can't find love, I often ask them, what's your deal flow like? They're like, what? What's your deal flow? I'm like, what's your lead gen like? What's your lead generation like? They're like, what do you mean by that? I'm like, well, how many dates are you going on? And I go, none. I'm like, well, that's, you're not going to find any love. You've got no dates, right? So part of the process is money will allow you to increase your deal flow. It'll allow you to go on more dates. It'll allow you to look better, dress better, level up, become more valuable, better conversationalist, skill up. And it'll actually start to allow you to hang in certain circles that you want to hang in to attract the right mate. So this happened to a friend of ours. I'm going to go into too much detail, but she actually changed her online dating platforms to actually be somewhere in Europe instead of where she was in America. So she changed the location. And all of a sudden, because she'd spent money on what she looked like, how she skilled up, you know, she's very presentable. Right? She wasn't just like someone who smelled bad, someone who didn't dress well. You know, like, like she spent her money on being presentable, right? It's just marketing. That's how mating works. Birds do it and we do it, okay? Right or wrong, it's how it happens. So she did that and she changed that based on the money she was making and she leveled up. Now she attracted someone who was really good quality, has since fallen in love. So you think about how love works and how money's combined up by love. It can buy love by increasing the deal flow, increase, increasing the number of dates you go on, which will statistically increase the chances that you can fall in love. Now I'm not suggesting that you will fall in love, no but you will meet enough people from the money you spend on the dates and what you look like, you buy actually increase the chances that you're gonna have a compatible mate. And I think that's when love is created, when you're like, oh, you got, oh I do that, I love dogs, you love dogs, I love video games, you love video, oh my God, well, oh my God, you're, you're my soulmate, right? And then you fall in love and then you get married and have kids. But I think that's how, how money can actually buy love. And I think people don't really recognize that enough. And they're on this 
They have this limiting belief like money doesn't buy love, money doesn't buy happiness. Well, it can bloody increase your chances of getting it, right? So in that sense, it absolutely can. And I think you should harness money to do that. As long as when you're putting on the makeup and you're buying the same, you know, you're still your authentic self. You don't want to create a mask and be someone you're not. But you can certainly present better. And you can certainly increase your lead generation and your deal flow with money to create more opportunities to fall in love. All right, so I hope that's been a very agitating episode for you. If you're triggered by this, please, please, please put your trigger comments in the comments below. I'd love to come and have a chat with you about it and get your perspective on it. So right, it's okay if you click the share button and share it with a friend. Say, look at this guy, he's talking about money, buy, and love, right? I think it's important because it's just about improving your relationship with money. So if you have these things like money can buy happiness, money can grow on trees, money can buy love, money, money can, money's not the root of all evil, money's the root of all happiness. And you know, all these things, I think it's really important, right? Because as Zig Ziglar said, money's not everything, but it's right there with oxygen. So if you can create better paradigm and better a better relationship with your money by actually adopting these frameworks that money can buy love, you'll actually start to have more respect for money, you'll be able to make more money, you'll deploy it and create more happiness. And you can start to use money for all the wonderful things that it's there to be used for, instead of just portraying it as like, well, people have money as Scrooge, and that's what I grew up with in Disney films, and that's how I'm gonna do it, right? Which is most people. And I don't want you to be there because I want you to be happy, and I want you to be wealthy. And I think if you change and develop these paradigms, like money buys love, money can buy friendship, money can buy happiness, you'll get a lot further with your relationship with it. And that's the first stage of becoming less broke, okay? Changing your relationship with money. So that's the end of the episode. Hey, go and click on the link in the description if you wanna grab our Money Buys Happiness book. I think we'll, we'll, we'll pop that in the description below. In that particular book, you'll start to learn what I mean by these paradigms and, and your money story and overcoming it and reframing your mindset when it comes to money which is what I want for you, right? Because then you'll start to level up and learn how to make a ton more money, get your money working for you and have freedom, which is what we all want, right? So go click the show notes. And of course, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button and I look forward to seeing you on the next lesson.